Hey, hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. And I figure with all the social distancing going on, now would be a pretty good time to make some videos. So what I'm going to take a look at today is EQD's Afterneath. This thing is a reverb pedal slash delay slash I don't even know. This thing does some stuff, some really, really cool stuff. All right, so what I want to show you now or tell you is what each one of these controls does. I'm actually going to read this directly from the manual because they do they do some stuff. Um, length, first one right here. This controls the decay of the reverb. Your diffuse, your second one in. This adjusts the spread of the reverb, so sharper with more attack counterclockwise, more ambient and washy sounds for your clockwise. Um, next up is your dampen. Clockwise for brighter tones, counterclockwise for darker tones. All right, so on our second row here, we have the drag control. This separates the short delays that it has in there, so it will give you a more a pingy type sound. After that, next to the drag, we have the reflect. This controls the regeneration of the reverb, which gives you more of a wash kind of reverby sound. And of course, the last one is your mix. Um, it does not go completely wet, but that also makes it a little bit better because you have a little more um, of the clean signal coming through it. All right, I've done enough talking. Let's see what this thing can actually do. So this is just the clean tone itself, nothing going on. And this thing is just gonna start going nuts. Let's see if I can actually do this. Hit one finger. All right, let's see what we got going on.
Oh, good God. There it is. Oh. Because the thing's about to take off. doesn't end. Let's go. Let's see what happens if we turn everything up. So that's the afterneath. This thing can do some really crazy out there stuff with uh, delays and reverb and just kind of like swirling everything into some sort of chaos. Um, it also does like some more normal, I guess you could say, reverb stuff. But I mean, if you're looking at this thing, why are you going to just make it sound like a generic reverb machine? But I don't know. I love this thing. It's one of my favorite, always on my board. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. You know the drill, like, subscribe, all that other jazz if you want to. Um, I'll also leave links to any other social media stuff that I have. Um, I'll leave all that stuff in the description below. All right, stay safe, everybody.